Hello, I am Abhishek Mata. I graduated from APU in 2019 with a BA Honours degree and I'll be sharing some of my experiences studying history at APU. Uh, to me, what particularly stands out about the history courses is how far-ranging and ambitious they are while inculcating a critical approach to historical inquiry so that uh, one doesn't take anything as given or as granted, which was how we were predominantly taught history in our school days. Uh, uh, along, I mean, there were two most fascinating courses for me. Uh, one was called Intellectual and Cultural Aspects of Modernity and the other History from the Margins. Along with the other courses, these two courses especially helped me pick up two uh, very important skills. One was this uh, ability and fondness, in fact, of doing close reading, not only of archival texts and theoretical texts, but also uh, texts produced in the contemporary culture as well. And the second thing was... Uh, this developing of uh, of uh, of you know developing an outlook of interdisciplinarity, where in order to understand and engage deeply with uh, issues and problems that arise within history per se, uh, many insights from philosophy, literature, literary theory, and political theory can uh, illuminate our understanding in history itself. Uh, so apart from these skills, there were three concepts that. Uh, uh, in, intrigues me to the present day and uh, in my master's uh, and also kind of in my master's thesis as well. One is this, uh, you know, one is the concept of modernity, which is an ever uh, present issue within humanities and social sciences. So we had a lot of debates and discussions around this, uh, which I remember. And secondly, uh, the, uh, uh, this concept of state power, uh, which is very relevant, not only uh, within history and academia, but also, I think, in general, outside of uh, academia itself, in order to understand how things are unfolding currently. Uh, so we read uh, various thinkers and uh, tried to study how various uh, societies tried to uh, imagine state power. So what were their notions of it? So we read people, uh, you know, from Foucault to various thinkers from early modern South Indian traditions. And thirdly, the concept of uh, uh, this idea of, you know, interlinks between what are the interlinks between history and experience and how that that is related to our notions of truth and 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 and, and general to uh, historical production itself. So these three uh, concepts, uh, I think, are very crucial and are at the core of our history program in some sense. And uh, so currently I'm uh, in my master's, I'm interested in two different projects. Uh, one is uh, a project about the Kakatiya kingdom, which was a 12th to 14th century kingdom in Andhra Pradesh. So in here, you know, the uh, skills and training that I got uh, regarding close reading have proven to be very useful because I have to come across a lot of archival texts and, uh, you know, and, and, and also the insistence on interdisciplinarity also helps me a lot right now because there are so many texts, you know, literary texts and poetry and so on and so forth that I have to deal with, um, which again is proving to be very helpful. And the second project that I'm interested in is uh, a general uh, kind of tracing the intellectual history of environmental thought in India. And for this project, especially uh, uh, the uh, interdisciplinary uh, outlook is proven to be even more pertinent because a lot of these thinkers and a lot of societies uh, that I'm trying to look at have uh, come from various different backgrounds and have very far, you know, uh, uh, different perspectives. And so, uh, so to glean the most uh, insightful, of, you know, uh, useful uh, uh, insights out of it, uh, uh, interdisciplinary outlook has definitely helped me. And apart from all of these, uh, you know, skills and experiences and concepts and so on and so forth that, uh, intrigue me to this day. I think there are three biggest takeaways uh, for me from the entire history program uh, and my time at APU especially, that in order to do history, uh, one has to realize that historical inquiry is never separated and divorced from uh, maintaining and developing a sense of empathy and openness to the subjects and issues that we are treating. And uh, and secondly, also to kind of inculcate uh, and recognize the power and ethic of imagination, because it also further helps in, at the end of the day, what I think is at the center of our history program, which is that uh, one has to learn and understand 
however difficult and exciting it may be to be receptive and open to various uh, versions of reality and various ways of living and uh, this insistence i think apart from helping me uh, intellectually has also proved to be uh, highly useful in be- becoming a better person in the sense that uh, uh, you know in the sense of being more sensitive and aware of things that are happening around me so uh, you know for all these things you know i can never be thankful enough uh, for my time at apu and i'm uh, i feel privileged to have spent 3 years uh, there and uh, i'm i'm only you know full of gratitude thank you so much Thank you.